So in my second video, I talked about how I use my NAS server to solve all of my storage issues. So if this is the first video that you're checking out, definitely you can click on the link up here and you can start with my first video in a series and then check out my second one and then come back to this third video. So Synology has a whole range of NAS servers for you to choose from and they really make it very easy for you. And if you're like me and you don't know where to start, you can always go onto Synology's website and they offer you a great tool to help you select what you need and how you get started. So if you look into their website here, you can click on the NAS selector and you can put in any parameters that most suit your own scenario and Synology will tell you which of their products will suit you the best. So if you need more business or enterprise features, you can choose business enterprise and you can get a whole range of selection that will meet your business needs. So Synology also has a very handy rate calculator to help you decide how you can set up your drive base so you can enjoy optimum storage with redundancy and you can also protect your files in the event if you have a disk failure. If you're interested in me talking about how to set up a rate, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a dedicated video in the future to talk about that. But in here, all you got to do is click around the different drives and storage that you need and Synology will summarize the rest for you so you will know what type of rate setup that suits you the best whether SHR which stands for Synology Hybrid Rate or if you want to go with the more standard rate 1, 5, 10 or so on. And with your selection done, you even get a recommendation on the type of NAS servers you need to buy in order to meet your requirements. So if you're someone like me who doesn't need hundreds of terabytes of data as a start and potentially wants to scale up in the future, I think the DS920 Plus is a pretty good choice to start with. So the DS920 Plus comes with four drive base at the front, which would fit any 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch NAS class drives. And the NAS also comes with two built-in M.2 SSD slots at the bottom so you can set your NAS up with SSD cache functionality and that will dramatically improve I.O. speeds especially if you do a lot of moving of files. So if you turn the DS920 Plus to the back, you can see that it comes with two one gigabit RJ45 Ethernet ports so you can hook the device up directly to your router and to your PC as well. So do keep in mind that the DS920 Plus doesn't come with a 10 gigabit port so if you mostly do 4K editing, you're not gonna be able to edit straight off of your NAS device. So since this comes with a one gigabit port, you will be more comfortable streaming a 1080p footage for you to edit on the go. So I'm super excited to be able to collaborate with Synology to make this series of videos and I hope you've enjoyed them and learned something from them. And if you want to see a full review and talk through about the Synology DS920 Plus or if you want me to share with you more about rate setups, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And with that, my name is Sean and thank you for checking out my video. And if you enjoy this series and if you're familiar with the channel, you see that this is a new setup. Do you like it? Do you think it's okay? Let me know in the comment section below. And please definitely give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't for more tech reviews.